Yo, 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 yo. What up, man? It's your boy IQ, man. Straight out of that dose, single dose, baby. Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. So, uh, I figured I'd make another little video about, uh, a couple things, man. We got a couple things to talk about. Um, Cam Noon to the Patriots. Like I said, you know, I, I kind of touched on that already, but the one thing that's bugging me out about this whole Cam to the Patriots thing is like, everybody that was down in Cam, everybody that had all this you know, all this stuff they want to say about Cam, like, he go to New England, now all of a sudden, he a good quarterback all of a sudden. Like, he go to New England, and now all of a sudden, you know, he could play football again. When he was a free agent, he was just out there. Everybody had all this crazy stuff to say about him. Oh, but Cam was on the decline. Um. Uh, Cam still, he's not the same as he was, you know. It's a reason why nobody's picking him up. And this is all this craziness, man, you know. And I've been saying from the jump, anybody that signed Cam is going to get a motivated Cam. That's the scariest dude in the league. Like, a motivated Cam? Like, come on, dog. I don't understand. You know, I'm watching Cal and Cowherd, and uh, he got his what do you, what do you call his herd hierarchy, where he'll list the top ten quarterbacks in the league, right? Now he got Cam at six. What? Same dude that put all these other quarterbacks in front of Cam for whatever his reasons was is the same dude that now all of a sudden. He top 10. Blows my mind. Now all of a sudden he can play football again. Man, look, man. New England finna be crazy. I'm telling you. You got a motivated Cam. He gonna come in there. He gonna work hard. He already working hard. I don't know if y'all seen his last video or not, but he told y'all, like, I ain't never seen this Cam. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he first he said, they ain't never seen his cam. Then he said, I ain't never seen his cam. You know what I'm saying? And he said in the video before that, I'm done being humble. Man, look. We talking about Cam Newton, bro. We ain't talking about, like, no. We talking about Cam, bro. What? What y'all, did you think Jarrett did him? You think Jerry still is finna go in there and, and, and train the camera and do what? And do what? I don't care about how much of the playbook you know. You can know the playbook all you want to. That don't mean you can go out there and do what Cam can do. It's levels. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to this. Another thing I want to touch on. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see my watch, but. Y'all see that? Time is ticking. Dad Prescott. Time is ticking, man. What's going on with that? Cowboy fans, where y'all at? Dad Prescott still ain't got no contract. Y'all got to the 15th. What y'all waiting on? That's the franchise, right? I mean, y'all told me. All the Cowboy fans in the world told me Dad Prescott was the guy. He's the guy. So if he's the guy, what y'all waiting on? Wentz got signed with, what, two years left on his deal? Golf got signed with two years left on his deal? Why y'all hesitant on signing that? Seems to me that Cowboys don't really believe in that. If they did, they just signed him last year. 
That's just me talking. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. If you get a quarterback and he's the guy, you sign the quarterback and then you sign everybody else later. The Cowboys sign everybody else and trying to sign the quarterback last. That lets you know that the confidence level in that is very, very small. <laughs> you sign the running back. You sign the DN. You know what I'm saying? You sign the middle linebacker. You sign the offensive lineman. You sign everybody except the quarterback. Why is that? Just sign him first and then build around him. If he's your guy, that is. You know, what do I know? This got to be the only team I've seen in I don't know how long that she's trying to sign a quarterback last. Oh, I ain't never seen that happen. He's the last one to get a deal. Time is ticking. What y'all gonna do, Dallas? I don't know. But I'm watching. I'm waiting. Because like I said before, all these Cowboy fans, bro, that could do no wrong. No wrong. But yet the front office, they like, hmm, I don't know. Is he worth it? I don't know. Here, sign this franchise tag. And then let us think about it for a second. I don't know. Hopefully y'all get a deal done, man. That's all I can say. But anybody that know football, that know football, that know football, no. You don't sign your quarterback last if you got faith in him. You sign him first. Even when he got years left on his deal, you signed the quarterback. Patrick Mahomes got, what, two more years left on his deal? He just signed a half a billion dollars worth of money. Okay. You think Houston gonna wait till Deshaun is up to sign for him to sign? No. You think Baltimore gonna wait till Lamar is up? No. Cause that's their guy. If Dak is the guy, what are they waiting on? I'm telling you. Now his contract is up. Now you want to bring up, oh, he only beat bad teams. His playoff record is this. He did this. He did all you. Uh, no, 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 no. Because when people who aren't Cowboy fans bring that up, you wasn't trying to hear that. You wasn't. I'm just being honest. But now it's time to get paid, and now you want to bring up all his deficiencies. The front of Jerry Jones is speaking with his silence. Straight like that. He's speaking with his silence. Loud. Loudly. So, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to your boy, man. It's your boy IQ, man. I'm out.